Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today is Friday, February 15th, 2019. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful, um, let's see if I can cross the street. Anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And uh, so today we're walking around town and I'm just gonna be sharing the thoughts in my head. Nothing crazy. Trying to get under some shade. Trying not to get run over by a bus. You know, just another day living out here in Mexico. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna strap you to my head. You already know the deal. We're gonna be just chatting. I'm on my way to Walmart to pick up a few things. And I'm um, just gonna take another route that I don't think you guys have seen. Maybe you've seen a, far, a few bits and pieces from here. But I don't think so. I think for the most part you haven't seen it yet. So, well, whatever. Fuck it. Um, and then today what we're going to be talking about is just, um, I think we're going to be talking about freedom and just thoughts in my head. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. By the way, um, I'm going to be relying on most of you guys out there that are watching these videos. So uh, you guys ask me questions so I can make videos for you about Mexico and so on and so forth. All right. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's walk and talk a little bit. I think I've shown you guys this area a little bit. See, I come here all the time to get my beers. Place is great. Let's just take a little walk, a little mechanic. Yeah, I think we've walked through here before. Just this little area. So, let me see. We're gonna talk about freedom a little bit. Freedom, freedom, freedom. So, one of the main reasons why I love Mexico out here so much is because of the freedom. Just the freedom. <clears throat> you know, there's no police officer that's going to come and harass these individuals for selling stuff. For not maybe you know the permit or or maybe having this on the street for too long or that you know people individuals getting you know like that guy right there getting a ticket for having his wheel over this thing you know just shit like that all kinds of things like that you know it's just the little things like what, what they always say about every relationship right it's always the little things it's all about the little things so when you start adding everything up when you start adding everything up it's like you realize it's like fuck man you know out here in mexico look at this scene this is like perfect photography right here if i had my camera i would take some really good awesome pictures um but yeah you know the fact that you know out here you really have freedom you know in the true definition and of the word you know the you know um in the u.s in the u.s you're sold you're sold that you, you have this freedom, but you really don't. And, in, and just like in the rest of the developed world, you know, you're sold this idea of freedom, but you don't got no freedom. You don't have any freedom. You know, the real true freedom comes out in here and uh, living in a place like this. Now, again, um, look, there's a furnished place, a beautiful place. You can just check it out. I think yeah, we walked through here. I think we turned down this way. Yeah, that's right. When we went to the, to the OXO or whatever. So, and you know, it's just, again, it's, it's, it's like so many little itty bitty things, you know, when it comes to freedom, you know? Um, so, so for example, you know, out here, you know, when it comes to like a bar, you know, um, alcohol, you know, you can just, um, not only can you buy your drink at the bar and then go outside with your drink and also um, drink while you're smoking a cigarette or hang outside or what have you. You know, you can do that here. You know, there's no, you know, beer gardens. There's no beer anything. In many places, in many places, you know, I, I just about every every little festival that, that, that I go to or that I've shown you guys or whatever, any kind of anything where you see like a bunch of little booths and a bunch of people selling food and items and crafts and whatever at the same time they're also you know like a, you'll find alcohol 
you know whether it's beer or hard alcohol but you know you'll see it there and um again you know there's no like liquor license or restrictions or anything like that you know you're just allowed to hold on you're just allowed to <laughs> uh to do whatever you want and that's it you know it's like it's pretty it's very libertarian it's a uh, very anarchist now again you know just to go back to like the definition of what anarchism is you know anarchism is really what it really means is without ruler that means that I, I, I'm not gonna tell anyone what to do and no one's gonna tell me what to do and just keeping that perspective you know going all right so look there's like a little pharmacy all the way over there so you see how, how close it is to the house you can go and get pharmacy stuff now I gotta cross the street here I gotta go that way I usually go that way so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe it's a lot of traffic all of a sudden huh? so all right we're gonna walk this way and then cross that way all right and there's like another store that sells beer alcohol whatever so here the drinking age the legal drinking age out here is 18 years old um, you know just FYI you know like here as you're growing up um, you grow up Hispanic meaning that you grow up being res responsible with responsibilities man it smells so fucking good I think it's that place it smells so good right now holy shit fuck this smells good damn it's called uh, the hot potato or maybe it's this place we we'll just sell chicken right up there and that's another thing too you'll, you'll see places you know just like that they just sell the food right out in the open you'll see people selling food right out in the open now you know again i'm a former chef and i understand you know the the laws that, that have to exist you know like the food and safety laws and this and that or whatever but again you know i've fucking eaten shit here off carts off whatever you know breaking every single food safety law period and i've yet to get sick in fact the only times i ever get sick out here is when i when i fucking when i give in and i buy some fucking mcdonald's or some bullshit like that that's that's always when i get fucking sick you know whenever i eat some bullshit like that so just fyi guys and so you know we're taking a little bit of the long route you know i just want to show you guys you know the more of the neighborhood the areas just you can get an idea of uh how it is out here it's just fucking awesome let me see i'm gonna make sure i don't get runned over so yeah um again you know this place is very very libertarian um very anarchistic and in, in whatever some places are more anarchist than others you know but mo almost everywhere in mexico is very libertarian and uh you know what that means is that you know for example like if you want to open up a little store like that or any kind of anything you just get like a little license a little anything you know just to you know just like anywhere else you know what i mean just like a little business license or a little fucking you know but nothing you know just pay a couple bucks oh look see look right here they're getting ready they're gonna probably cook something there Maybe like Apa store. I'm getting it ready for tonight. And so, see, look, and, it's, and see, look, they're getting it ready for tonight, and it's uh, two thirty. So that place is probably open like really late. And so on and so forth. Another food here. So, all right. And uh, again, guys, I haven't really gone down this way before. You know, this is the first time I really walked through here. I mean, I've walked through here before, but or whatever, never mind. So, again, you know, just going back to that freedom thing, you know, where, you know, out here, you know, a lot of the things that is happening in the in first world countries right now, where you can't say certain things, you can't do certain things, you know, the police have like this, in, and and like a, you know, the police have like this insane amount of power where they tell you to do things and, and make you do things. Um, it's just a lot of shit. And so, you know, it, it, it's, um, it's very liberating to be in a place like this. 
like for reals man you know when you when you really live in a place that's actually free for the most part um you really realize the op the oppression that you come from you know the oppression that I, we used to live in look at this okay i think this is a street where i gotta turn yeah look that's like a like a boutique art and cinema it's like a little it's like a movie theater cinema thing there uh like one of these buildings from back in god knows when see again as you can see i'm like a fucking gargantuan here everybody here is like four foot five you got fedex you got all kinds of shit so again guys you know like if you notice just from my adventures and walking around here that you know mexico isn't that much i mean there's a lot of things that are different but a lot of, there's a lot of things that are pretty the same in fact you know i i have yet to go to the north of the city when you know next time i go to the north i'm gonna take my camera no matter what so i can show you how exactly like the same it is like the north I mean like like um like the rest of the u.s and other first world countries in the north of the city it's like a first world country here it, i mean again it's residential this reminds me of a neighborhood back where i where i grew up in miami all this area reminds me of like coral gables you know this is like expensive property back in miami you know expensive uh you know this is where you know uh, the university of miami would be and uh a lot of the rich money and the fucking ocean is right there you know so to me, I'm living in fucking paradise. Like seriously, for reals. You know, just looking at it in that context. Um, look, here's uh, this restaurant that's supposed to be pretty popular out here. And um, I've never been here. But I think it's, um, I don't know if it's Italian. It says it's called drive-in, al orno. So that means drive-in, but in the oven. Whatever. But yeah, I don't know, it looks good seems to be popular I those see look they're, they're right now they're they're I don't know what exactly this means but it's, they're going against the government they're going against the government here they're not happy with the government okay it seems like uh, the power companies okay by the way something that i learned something that i learned about mexico mexico has some Me look at all this traffic it's like a main avenue guys just giving you guys a bird's eye view you know uh of everything you know just what i see i want i want you guys to see exactly what i see I, it seems like you guys enjoy it so why not and it's a little too loud for me to talk anyway i gotta wait for the cars to pass haha <laughs> all right so um i found out recently because i was doing some more research on the on the electricity here and um the electricity look open lot you know it's probably used for parking i wouldn't park here and get your car fucked up or whatever anyways the electricity in Mexico is some of the highest in the world. You know, meaning that the prices of electricity here in Mexico, that a typical Mexican pays, is some of the highest in, in, in the developed world. Like, in fact, it's a lot higher than in the U.S. So I did not know that. So that's like another reason why this president is doing a lot of things that he's doing. He's trying to... Because there's a lot of oil and resources here, so there's no reason for them to be paying such high uh, prices. So right there, you know what I mean? As you can see, um, that business probably went out of business because of the high high electricity costs and high power costs. But again, coming from America and um, you know, just me personally, I don't use that much power, but I can see how it can get very expensive. You know, again, we we talked about this briefly in other episodes. But um, the point I'm making is, is that. Um, uh, also in the Yucatan Peninsula, it's also the highest. So of all of Mexico, Mexico is already a high. It costs a lot of money for for power, but but in uh, in the area of um, I gotta go that way. Yeah, okay. Anyways, but in the area of uh, the Yucatan is even it's the most expensive of all of Mexico, or one of the most expensive. 
So just keep that in mind as well. But again, guys, it all depends on how much power you use. If you use the same amount of power as you do in the US, then you're probably gonna be paying US prices. If you live a little bit more like a Mexican, then you're probably gonna be paying, you know, your US prices. But again, it's all about how much you use per day. Out here, um, depending on what you have, if you have like a modern business or a modern home or a modern anything that looks exactly like the US, then yeah, for sure, you're gonna be fucking paying just like back home, expensive. But if you have something similar to like what I have, or what a typical Mexican has out here, then you're probably just gonna be paying uh, regular, you know, regular prices. It all varies, but that is something. That is something to look at. This is like a, a new convention center. They just op they just literally built this thing and, and opened it up like uh, not too long ago. Look, by Samsung. Centro, what is it? International Center the, of, the, of the Congress of the Yucatan. Shit, okay, so maybe this is even bigger than a convention center. It might be like a big government Congress building very interesting so yeah and they're building something here not quite sure cool look at that who knows what they're building there huh but um yeah so uh, yeah again guys you know um what was i saying what was i saying yeah it's all about the freedom guys so here there's just so much more freedom to do so many more things and um and some some people might not like that some people might you know be all right with all the rules and regulations and having government take care of you but here it's the opposite problem here government doesn't take care of shit i mean they do they do certain things you know they, they do what the function of government is supposed to do but for the most part the people are supposed to figure it out and if the people are not happy with the government they kick them out they, they complain and it actually works you know the protests and uh and all that shit um you know there are cities there are cities um, within Mexico that have, by the way, there's like a big fancy hotel here. They have conventions here, shit too, as you guys can see. So, I mean, I don't want to walk, I don't want to walk that way and slip on my fucking ass, but you guys can figure it out. Just another hotel. So, see, look, pharmacies, more pharmacies, right in front of the hotel, you know? Pharmacy, 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 rent a car. You already know, we've already been there. We went, already went inside of there. Look at how big that place is. So, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? So, so yeah, here, here it's more like the people. The people have uh, the power here. And it's up to the people to figure it out. Oh yeah, what I was saying is like, there's a lot of cities within Mexico. There are a lot of cities and municipalities within Mexico that have absolutely zero government and zero influence. So um, yeah, yeah, so there's plenty, of, there's a few cities within Mexico that have absolutely zero government, you know, not just federal government, but actual government government. You know, um, as to where um, the government within the city or municipality has a lot to do with, um, you see how they don't stop? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, that's, you know, what I'm used to back in Miami, the same shit. But like out here, like if they don't stop, it's your fault. You're, you know, your fault for getting hit by the car. But anyways, we're here where the actual government of the city or the municipality or whatever is like uh, how they used to do it back in the Inca days or Aztec days and all that shit where it's a bunch of, uh, you know, like elders and all this stuff or like a council, you know, just like, you know, where the, where the actual inhabitants of the city or the town or the village are the ones that are in charge and they all take turns and, and, and uh, the daily running of the city and all that shit so there's a bunch of cities within mexico that 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 are run like that and uh like no federal government can get in there no government no nothing and uh and they're allowed to function this way there and so they are sovereign states or sovereign cities or municipalities sovereign areas within mexico that are not you know allowed to be interfered with by anyone so again more to that freedom thing it's uh it's awesome
to me that like the more i learn about mexico the more i fucking love it you know the fact that they're really fucking free out here the fact that that uh it's really fucking just um paradise you know um and almost no one knows about it i'm, I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of a, a taste you know um of where not only where i live but of uh you know but um but how it is out here you know like um just giving you like personal ex um you know personal experience you know personal um accounts of how i i live out here and um sure things are different but if you come from a place like you know the first world and the one complaint that you have is, is just oppression and uh, and then you know you don't un people don't understand the oppression that you're under like i like again me you know people don't understand the the oppression that i was under people didn't understand how much i needed and yearned for freedom um and so that's why i live here you know um most people don't you know they think i'm crazy because i live out here but to me it's like fuck, you know uh it's crazy to live in the u.s and i i, I, I feel great all right let's see if we can make this like and i feel great because i can actually um live free now you know for my whole life i was always feeling uh this weird feeling that you know, I, I wasn't, I was just wasn't free, that I wasn't, um, man, I, I, I'm trying to, like, uh, put it into words here, but, <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, back in the States, I was always filled with, like, this anxiety, and filled with, like, you know, um, looking over my shoulder, and that you're not free, you can't do anything you want anything that you do you can get arrested for anything that you say you can get in trouble for uh, it, it was just a constant you know it's an open air prison shit you know what i mean it's uh it's fucking horrible and uh when you first talk about it or when you're when you're experiencing that shit it's kind of it's, it's really hard to really um express this stuff because a lot of people just don't understand exactly what the fuck you're you know you're you're going through and then when you kind of live when you come out here um at least at least for me you know once you finally come out here and you start living out here for a while and experience not even a while i mean it was almost immediate when i started feeling um the relief and um that's you know the way that's why I'm, I'm in love with here you know with being in mexico i'm in love with being um abroad being an expat and I don't ever want to go home or live back home or anything like that. I mean, sure, I'll visit, I'll do whatever, you know. Um, but it's like, why would I ever want to be living in a place where you're just so oppressed, you know, oppressed in thought, oppressed in what you can do, what you can't do. Um, you, you, you know, you're always at the mercy of uh, whoever the fuck has a badge, whoever the fuck um, has a bad temper, you know, all these things. And then, like, your whole life can be turned upside down. Your whole life can be destroyed, you know, over nothing, over nothing. And it's like... I don't want to live in that world anymore. I don't want to live in that kind of like life anymore. I want to be here. I want to be free. And I think a lot of you guys that watch the videos that I, you know, that I produce, you know, talking about these subjects uh, are, are also thinking the same thing. Um, sure, you know, a lot of you guys just want to move out here to retire, want to move out here for a bunch of reasons. But I think deep down inside, when you really, really, you know, uh, look into it, you know, when you really like look into yourself as to why you want to move out here, it's just really the freedom whatever kind of freedom whether it's monetary freedom whether it's actual freedom 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 of thought freedom of uh, being able to do whatever you want and so on and so forth it doesn't really matter you know it's just freedom however you want to define it every, every freedom is different to everybody but all i'm saying is that to me the only thing that's ever been important in my fucking life that i ever wanted to achieve that i ever wanted to grab was freedom and finally after fucking living here sorry <laughs> so finally after being able to after living here I um, I realized that um, that not only true freedom can be achieved, but it's attainable. It's here, and um, and it exists. And like um, and I just feel so happy and so glad. And uh, and being able to share all this stuff with you makes it even better. All right, guys. Well, it's been a mouthful. It's been a long episode today. Um, took a nice little walk. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. Um, if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this episode and enjoy this kind of content, please leave comments below. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Um, let's uh, converse. Let's keep the conversation going. What What do you guys want me to make more videos about? Um, because at the end of the day, um, I need I need 
I'm only making this stuff for you. I, I enjoy showing you guys around, but I need topics to discuss. Otherwise, it's gonna be more talking about freedom and Bitcoin and all that shit. By the way, I'm always talking about Bitcoin and crypto, but anyways, it's another story for another day. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, actually, no, I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great and wonderful weekend. Thanks again, and peace.